Welcome to SQL Reporting Services and this is video number 5050. In this video we are going to configure the charts, right? So we got nothing right now. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start with add a new data set. Then this is the regular shit what we do all the time, right? So new then I'm gonna use my share data source which as you can see on the right hand side. Let me get that. Control 2 and hopefully you guys can see it this is the guy okay next uh, I'm gonna hit ok then I'm gonna go to the query designer and remember last time what uh, we have done is so far what I showed you is how you can you can do this by writing a manual query or you can use a stored procedure or you can add a table but this time we're gonna go by something different we're gonna go by views and the last time what we saw was products by category so let's add that let's close that and all we need to do is select this so basically we are selecting all the columns once you do that let's hit the execute button and you can see you got like around 71 records okay let's hit okay let's hit okay get back now switch to the toolbox and let's bring in the chart tool and we're going to choose the column chart and let's make this guy a little bit biggy. okay so this guy looks pretty nice now but this guy has no idea okay so what you're seeing is a chart over here when i'm going to do the preview nothing appears you have no idea what it is it right so we need to explain this guy all right so what you're going to do is we're going to switch to reports data tab okay and now i'm going to select a chart where you see the empty things like nothing is selected okay so I'm gonna choose the left hand side so the moment I choose something I get a pop-up on the right hand side this pop-up is quite tricky so you have to be careful okay either you can uh, do this by suppose you are, are at something like in here okay so you're not gonna get this so you have to hit the escape button so the basic chart gets selected and then you come anywhere and you do the right click and you'll get a chart the options again so now the basic thing what we need to do here is let's mm, okay so we we are going to pick the category name and you're gonna drag under the details or what you can do is I'm gonna delete this guy and I'm gonna say I, I'm going to be adding this thing and I'm gonna add by category name okay so the category groups are done for the values I'm gonna use units in stock and you can see I get a sum of that by default okay and now I'm gonna do the preview there you go you can see under you know each and every let me just step back take a step back and make this guy a bit wide so it would be a better presentation and we would be un able to understand this thing easily so this is what I showed you last time you know uh, that we got so many categories down there okay plus uh, based on the categories we are trying to figure out how many stocks we have with us so if you look at this thing again what I have uh, explained to Visual Studio is okay the X axis okay the X axis means let me show you the x axis is something called as this where you group the things in here what I'm doing I'm grouping the things by category okay so that's the reason why one second that's the reason why what you see is the categories are grouped in here and now on the left hand side the vertical bar what you see is I'm saying okay I don't care how many you got stocks you know for all the products you just sum it and just tell me how much you have okay so based on that it does the summing for you over here I'm sorry I did something horrible so you got the idea right so that's how it works because after this I'm gonna give you one more example of this like uh, how it works and what we do okay so basically you got the idea right now the next question is uh, like what is this chart title what is this unit in stock what is this access title it's kind of bothering me because when I saw this report 
it was quite a decent one I mean if I do the preview I can see a lot of things in here everything is like I can figure out what is the blue means what is the title the axis and everything the messy part is gone this looks very much neat and decent so how can we do that right so uh, one second let me check hold on well I'm sorry I'm actually a bit running out of the time in here so what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly change this thing into something like if you look at the data set right data set has uh, what quantity per unit and category so in this uh, module what we did is we group the things by category and then we try to figure out the sum of units per category in the stock and we are displaying over here right so let's change that quickly and let's delete the series but what I want here is I wish to see how many products are there below each category so I'll be getting a count you see how smart that guy is because when I did there was uh, the units in stock it did sum because the unit in stock is an integer so this guy is pretty smart right so and the product name is a string value so what he did is the count so basically under each category how many products are there we are calculating that so let's see let's do the preview and you can see under beverages you got like uh, how many 12 products okay so let's check that quickly so I'll go like alright select star from uh, uh, what products where category oopsie category uh -uh, category ID and we know the category ID for beverage is one and we should get around like 13 rows I'm getting 13 and okay this is the new one the supplier is not there let me check one second okay let me go here in the design and let me open the query window and let me execute and I'm getting no 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 this is not what I want okay how do I resolve this one second hold on okay I had to stop the video to figure out what was going on and actually the problem what I found was why I was getting you know the I'm sorry the 12 record is because this is uh, a view which we are using as product by category and it has a where condition in it that this continued should not be equal to 1 and if we look at the SQL the query we just fired so hopefully you can see there's one product you know this guy is discontinued right so that's the reason why we are getting uh, you know uh, the 12 down there but if we modify this let's say if I go to design and just for the fun you know I take out this guy and let's save it okay and now let's preview it hopefully this time the bar should go up absolutely yes so you can see right control 2 and you can see this guy was 12 now this guy is now what's happening now this guy is 13 that's pretty cool so basically it's working it was my fault I didn't check why it was happening so I hope uh, you like this video and if this video helps you in some way then please share this video with your friends in the next video what are we going to do is the formatting all right and I'm gonna show you how do you format the things and how do you manipulate all the things in this video actually we sh uh, we saw actually two things one actually we had the comparison with uh, the categories with the products count and one where we have the units and stocks against the categories right so next one is coming up which is going to be the formatting we'll be using the same example and we just going to do some cleanup to look the things a bit nice and easy so i hope you like this video so thank you for watching this video good night and take care